Welcome back, everyone, to the Apprentice School Athletic Center for game number two of the Great Ships Classic being hosted by the Apprentice School here in Newport News, Virginia. If you are just joining us, well, welcome. And for those who were here for game number one that saw the Apprentice uh, School ladies fall to the Wolves of Cheney University by a score of 51-46, welcome back as well to number two here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center. This afternoon's matchup is going to be on the men's side of the tournament bracket as the Apprentice School Builders will take on the Knights of Central Penn College. Central Penn College out of Somerdale, Pennsylvania will bring their one and nine squad into this afternoon's contest to take on Evan Key and his six and three builders in the Apprentice School Athletic Center. Both starting lineups are being introduced and we will get underway here momentarily. There will be no national anthem because the national anthem was already done in the opening uh, contest. So this should be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, should be a bit of a contrast of styles as the builders like to run. The Knights like to sort of grind it out a little bit in the half court. Talk to their head coach, Gary Martin, who has been a longtime coach of the game, both as a player and as a coach says that he still loves to coach the game today as he did the first day he ever coached a basketball team. So we look forward to seeing his team get up and down the court. And of course, I wanted to ask him to find out, well, who am I, who should I be watching this afternoon? And he told me, you need to look out for Quadre Allen. Quadre Allen is a junior guard out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, who averages about 17 points six rebounds a game that leads the team in both of those stats. Also wanted me to take a look out for their man, man in the middle, who's going to be Donnell Loud. Says that's how he likes to play. And if you watched him like I did, you would have got a chance to see him doing pregame warm-ups. Folks, I'm looking at him right now at midcourt. He is already locked in to this basketball contest. He has a look on his face like he does not care that his team is 1-9. He only cares about the opponent that he's about to go up against this afternoon. And that opponent, once again, is the 6-3 builders led by Coach Evan Key. The builders currently undefeated here in the Apprentice School Athletic Center. So, ladies and gentlemen, this should be a good one as we are underway. Builders win the opening tip. Game two of the Great Ships Classic being hosted by the Apprentice School. Donovan Mean starts the builders off on their first possession. As the first shot up and no good by Angel Pacheco Ortiz. And back come the Knights with their first possession of the afternoon. Their starting five will be Caden Campbell, Darius Wallace, Rodney Ross, Donnell Loud, and Quadre Allen. Again, their leading scorer on the afternoon is the opening shot. Comes off the rim, no good by Rodney Ross, and back come the builders with Saunders. So again, Angel Pacheco Ortiz, Kyrie Smith. Donovan Means, his three-point shot, no good. Rebound gathered by Ortiz, but the outlet pass slapped out of bounds as Adrian Wall will also join the builders on the floor. Kelby Saunders Jr. will be in the middle, averaging eight rebounds a game. That leads the builders means pressure man-to-man -man defense being played by the Knights as means bumped no call bit of a circus shot that was last touched by means but the basketball will go over to the builders we're scoreless early in the basketball game as you'll be able to pick up some of coach Evan Key shouting instructions defensively to a basketball team is Smith with the turnover and the hard foul underneath that foul call is going to be on Caden Campbell. That'll be his first personal foul, the team's first. That'll put Kyrie Smith at the line to shoot, too. Kyrie Smith, the junior guard out of Virginia Beach, looks to give the builders their first lead and to put the first points on the board of the afternoon, and he does just that. Builders shooting about 60% from the charity stripe. And the second of two by Kyrie is good. Builders currently 100% from the free throw line in this basketball game. As the Builders go into a bit of a full court press. Skip pass over to Wallace. 
Davis able to get it down inside to Loud. Now Loud is only a freshman out of Baltimore, Maryland. It's about six foot nine. Means three. Comes off to Loud. So believe it or not, Loud does not lead the team in rebounds. That's actually Allen with six a game. As Knights able to get inside with Kay Campbell. He gets his first two of the basketball game, four to two. Knights over the Builders long. Three-point shot, quick shot by the Builders. Adrian Hall comes off to the Knights, and the Knights back on offense is loud again. Shot no good. Ortiz with the loose ball. Saunders with the kick out. Back inside to Saunders. Saunders harassed. Shot off the glass, no good, ball tapped around. Rebound taken by Ross, but Ross had his heel on the back line. So the basketball will stay on end. Builders with a 20-second shot clock. 17-24 remaining in the half. Builders trail by a bucket, 4-2 to the Knights. Again, the Knights out of Summerdale, Pennsylvania. Here's Means. Means shot up and good. Means average about averages about 12 points per game for the Builders. That leads the team on a per game average scoring. As Allen to the basket, shot off the glass and good. Now, according to his coach, Gary Martin, scoring now 9-6-4, Quadre Allen is actually seven points away from 1,000 points in his career. As the shot up and good, count the basket at the foul. That foul will be on Caden Campbell, and quickly, Caden Campbell has his second personal foul. So he Smith will make his way into the ball game for Campbell. So that'll put Donovan Means at the line to try to complete the three-point play and give the Builders the lead again, and he does 7-6. to So for Quadre Allen, he came into this afternoon's contest Seven shy of 1,000 points in his career. He made his first bucket, so he's now five points away from 1,000 in his career. I know that it's the Knights that are looking for that milestone for their player, but let's celebrate each and every player and every accomplishment they have in the game. So we'll be tracking that. We'll be monitoring that. He's five points away from 1,000 in his career, so right now he's sitting at 995 points in his career. He's a junior for the Knights as the Builders force a turnover. Here's Wall, his second three-point shot is up and good. Builders now push their lead 10 to six over the Knights here in the first half. Game number two of the Great Ships Classic. Ross with the basketball. Here's Allen. Allen, pocket pick by Saunders. Builders start the fast break. Smith wasn't looking for the basketball, so that's a turnover. And that leads to a three-point basket on the offensive end is Smith. So he Smith gets his first basket of the afternoon. And that pulls the Knights within one. Here's Saunders. That's going to come up short. Saunders, nice job of following his own shot. Tyree Smith with the Euro step and two. 12 to 9, Builders. Three-point lead. Allen. I'm sorry, that's not Allen. That is actually Sahid Smith unable to control it on the back line. So we're going to have a timeout. That's going to be a media timeout. 15-15 remaining in the first half. Builders with a three-point lead early on in the basketball game. And I did not give you the officials that will be operating in this afternoon's game. That is Casey Regetz, Spencer Coleman and Breland Hillman will be your officials on the afternoon as the Builders are looking to improve on their 6-3 and three overall record on the young season. Builders coming to this afternoon's contest averaging about 79 points per game. Conversely, the Knights come in averaging somewhere around 77 points a game. Now, the Knights are coming in enduring a, in a current five-game losing streak 
So they're looking to get themselves back on track, of course. As we look at some of the early score, Kyrie Smith leads the Builders with four points. No, I take that back. Donovan Means, I'm sorry, I looked at it incorrectly. Donovan Means with five points so far to not only lead the Builders, but lead all scorers in the basketball game. Central Penn so far, four turnovers. And we've really played five minutes in the basketball game. They've already turned the basketball over four times. If you did not join us for the first game, we did see the Lady Builders. They actually turned the basketball 36 times in that contest. That is enough there to make uh, some Courtney Collins braids fall out. I did look around the bench area. There were none on the court, so thank God for that. The pass goes inside. Tough shot. Lots of contention under the basket. But Pachenko is able to put it back for two, and the Builders have extended their lead now 14 to 9. Five point lead. Here's Ross. Tried to get it inside, unable to do so because of the defense. Here's Allen. Allen. His shot off the back of the iron. Means. Running. Means. Nice through the defense, unable to convert the layup. But there for the putback is Isaiah Jones, his first bucket of the afternoon, and the lead now is seven. Here's Wallace being guarded. Wallace. Skip pass to Ross. Ross, his three off the mark. Here comes Means. Means. Tried to get a skip pass to Kyrie Smith on the break, but that one is kicked out of bounds. So that'll be Quadre Allen, who was able to get his foot on the basketball. That'll quick get Avon Hawkins off the bench and into the basketball game. That gives Donovan Means a rest. Again, Donovan leading all scorers right now with five points in the contest. Here's Wall, Adrian. Back of the iron, no good. Ross. All the way to the basket. Shot rims around and comes out. I believe Allen had a shot blocked underneath. So it'll be Builder basketball. 16 to 9 is our score. Here's Wall off of the screen. Hawkins inside. So I thought that might have been a three-second violation, but they said Isaiah Jones with the hook. So that'll be a call, foul call on Isaiah Jones. That'll be his first personal foul and the team's first. Smith with the basketball being guarded by Ortiz, turns it over. Just lost concentration while he was dribbling the basketball. Goes out of bounds on the sideline. So that's a turnover. So Coach Martin, who digs pretty deep in his bench, as Aiden Conti comes into the basketball game, he did tell me in pre-game that he likes to use you know, pretty much the entirety of his bench. So look for a lot of substitutions this afternoon for the Knights as that shot by Hawkins goes up and over the backboard. Builders defensively put on a bit of a light press. It's Ross. Deals. Shot no good. Ortiz with the rebound. Here's Hawkins. Hawkins all the way. Wild shot. Jones there to pick up the loose ball. But Kyrie Smith able to get the basket, and we're going to get a timeout. 30-second timeout called by Coach Gary Martin. So he'll get his ball club over. To talk about a couple of things as he's seen the builders build. I like that. Seeing the builders build a nine-point lead. 18 to 9 is the score. 1247 left in the first half of action here of game two of the Great Ships Classic. Hosted by the Apprentice School Athletic Center. Builders play in the New South Athletic Conference. That's the NSAC, while the Central Penn College Knights, they play in the USCAA which is the United States Collegiate Athletic, Con uh, Athletic Association. Mm -hmm. 
Knights inbound in the backcourt with Ross. He's being guarded closely by Wall. Some substitutions in the game. That's Connor Jenkins with the basketball. He tries to get it into Allen. Errant pass. Picked off by the builders. Even Hawkins presses the issue. Thought he might have got him called for the uh, player control foul, but instead it's going to be a common foul. That's going to be on Connor Jenkins. Just into the game. That is his first personal foul in the team's third. So Avon Hawkins fouled in the act of shooting. He'll go to the line and shoot two to try to add to the builder already nine-point lead. Central Penn College was founded back in 1881. As a second of two by Kyrie is no good. And back come the Knights with Ross. Feet inside, Allen, Allen. Shot no good, got his own rebound, but he was fouled, I believe, before the shot. I think that may be on the floor. That foul is going to be on Courage Harrell. That'll be his first personal foul. Okay, so say Allen was actually fouled in the act of shooting. So he's five points away, make it four from 1,000 points on his career. As the builders bring in Tony Epps Jr. along with Montreal Jackson. So Allen came into the basketball game seven points away from 1,000 for his career. He's now at four points away from 1,000 points in his career. Epps with a basketball, shot clock at 15. Here's Courage, over to Epps. Shot clock now with five. Someone has to make a decision with the basketball as Hawkins, his runner in the lane is good. Avon Hawkins gets his first points of the afternoon. And the builder lead is at double digits now, 10, 20 to 10. Ross pulls up at the free throw line. Soft jumper goes down for two. The lead now is at eight. Builders try to get it inside to Jones. Jones comes out and sets the screen for Avon Hawkins. And Hawkins' second runner in the lane is good, and the builder lead is back up to 10 again. Builders stay in their man-to-man -man defense as the entry pass to Allen is off the mark, so that's going to be a turnover. That goes out of bounds, and we're going to get a timeout. I believe this is going to be a media timeout. 10.42 remaining in the first half. Builders with a 20 I'm sorry, 22 to 12 point lead. Don't go anywhere. Okay, just wanted to check and double check to make sure that we were right. I do want to make sure we do the uh, accurate numbers. Coming into this afternoon, Allen, Quad, uh, Quadre Allen, he actually needs 17 points to get to 1,000. So I must have misheard his coach. And he, I thought his coach said seven, but he probably actually said 17. So he's currently 14 points away from 1,000 on the season, but we'll still continue to monitor that. That is possible he could score that this afternoon as the long three rebound comes off to the Knights as 
they get their fast break, fast break started with Loud, who hasn't been in the, in the game much, considering he is, he's six foot nine, somewhat physically imposing down in the middle. And I think he's going to be Wilson, maybe for his first call, I'm not sure. So, they did, so he will be whistled for his first foul. So that's Dunnell Loud. That'll be his first personal foul. And the team's fourth. So that puts Courage Harrell at the line to shoot two. To try to extend the builder lead. And he's unable to do it on that free throw. Builders now with their largest lead of the afternoon, 10. So with this next made free throw, they get a chance to extend to their largest lead of the afternoon, and they do. Builders lead now at 11. Builders again into a bit of a light, a light press that is broken by the Knights. And there's going to be a blocking foul underneath. So Kelby Saunders is going to get whistled for his first personal of the afternoon. As Riley Young will step to the line. Sophomore forward, Atra Vorton, Pennsylvania. Makes the first of two. Builder lead cut to 10. Could go lower than that with this make throw that it is. So the builder lead down to nine. So the builders have led by as many as 11, have been down by as many as two in this basketball game. And Saunders does an amazing job of just backing his hand down into the lane for the high percentage shot. And the builder lead is back up to 11. Builders nearly picked that one off, but Loud is there to put the loose ball into the basket. 25 to 16, they look like a different team when Loud is on the floor. He really makes it difficult for the builders to score inside with that long frame. Harrell and Epps on the perimeter. Shot clock now at 10 for Epps. Epps off of a screen. Gets in behind Loud, kick to the corner. That three is money. So Montrell Jackson gets his first basket of the afternoon. It's a three. And it pushes the lead for the Builders up to their largest lead. Now 12 Builders with the steal, Epps. And we're going to get a foul in the backcourt. That foul will be on Riley Young. That is Riley Young's first personal foul. And that is the team's fifth. As Pacheco Ortiz and Clifton Good make their way onto the floor for the Builders. So S, Wall, Good, Ortiz, and Smith are your five for the Builders. It's Kyrie. Long three, I'm sorry, that's Avon Hawkins. I'm sorry, that zero did not look like the number I thought I saw. So the loose ball was last touched by the Knights, so it will stay on this end of the court. Good. With the ball, loud. Looked like he was lining up the block. Wasn't able to get it, but he did create a tough shot as we get a foul call. That's going to be on the screen. So Aiden Conti is going to pick up his first personal foul. And that'll be the team's fifth. Build lead still sitting at 12. Here's Hawkins. Hawkins has his shot blocked by Allen. But nice job of getting the loose ball and putting it into the basket was good. We get a steal in the backcourt. Hawkins. His layoff, layoff was high off the basket. No good. That shot no good for Allen. So with Allen being their leading scorer, he's been relatively quiet early on. He only has three points. And Angels. 
Pacheco Ortiz matches it with a three. So 33-16, we see the builders kind of opening things up a little bit. Builders now up by 17 with 7-17 remaining in the first half. That shot off the mark. Allen, I believe, pushed underneath. So Allen is going to pick up his, I believe, his second personal foul. Oh, that is. That's his, that's his first personal foul. I'm sorry. That is Allen's first personal foul and the team six. So we're going to get a timeout, media timeout. 17 remaining in the first half. Builders with a sizable lead. 17 points is the bulge, 30 to 16 over the Knights. Knights haven't shot the ball particularly well here in the first half. They're somewhere around about 40%. Now, they normally on the season, you know what? They normally, they, they are right around their shooting percentage. I apologize, I was looking at a different stat. Right now, they're shooting about 38.7% from the field. They average shooting about 40% from the field. So they're right on their scoring average percent-wise. So. Hopefully coming out of this timeout, Coach Martin can come up with something to get his team scoring the basketball. Because right now they find themselves down or pretty much been doubled up on the scoreboard. They scored 16. They're currently down by 17. Both teams are about to wake their way in through the basketball game. So far after the timeout, Avon Hawkins was fouled. So he'll go to the line to shoot. Builders with a 17 point lead. If Hawkins is able to make both, of course, they'll be up by 19. And he makes the first of two. Knights have made a couple of substitutions into the basketball game. We'll get you caught up on those in just a moment as Hawkins buries them both. So we see Zaheem Lewis into the basketball game along with Aiden Allen. Here's McClinton. McClinton with the basketball. Ross. Allen. Allen loses it. But the loose ball is controlled by McClinton. Skip pass to Ross. Ross, I think, may have stepped out of bounds prior to the shot, and he did. Court awareness is a very important part of being on the basketball court. Rodney Ross lost where he was on the court. He stepped out of bounds, so the Builders now with a 19-point lead look to add to it. Ortiz built up a head full of steam, headed to the basket, just unable to get it to go. And the loose ball is controlled by Knights as McClinton is to be fouled in the backcourt by Ortiz. So that'll be his first and the team's fourth. Neither team's in the bonus at the moment. The Knights are the closest to being in the bonus. They have seven team fouls. One more and the builders are in the one and one. Here's Allen. Ross being guarded by Means nearly turned it over. Here's Allen. Allen pulls his way inside, has a shot blocked by Ortiz. But McClinton is there to pick a loose ball and put it into the basket. That calls for the screen, works off of it, creates enough of a lane for him to get to the basket and lay it up for an easy two. And after that, he looked at his hand like, oh my God, was this thing on fire? So Epps gets into the scoring column. Builders now with the 19 point lead. Once again, as Allen muscled his way in. For two. And with that basket, he is now 12 points away from 1,000 in his career. As Ortiz is fouled hard. Make sure Ortiz is okay as Rodney Ross is going to be picked, is going to be credited with that foul. I just wanted to make sure. I was looking to see that uh, Ortiz hit his head on the floor. Thankfully, he was able to keep his head off the floor. So he'll step to the line to shoot two to try and add to the 17-point lead that the Builders currently have, 37-20. And he's unable to convert on the first one. Is Zayden Hunter will make his way into the ball game along with Kyle Smith.
So Ortiz will have another opportunity to try to add to the 17-point lead. That one is no good as well. So the next control, Ross backs it out. McClint tries to get it to Allen. Nice, nearly turned it over, but there's a foul call. That call is going to go on Donovan Means. That'll be his first personal foul. And that'll be the team's fifth. Ross looks to inbound. Allen, that's Aiden Allen, gets his first two in the afternoon. So 37-22, Builders with a 15-point lead. Good with the kick out to Means. Skip pass. Here's Xavier Hunters. First shot of the afternoon. The ball controlled off the rebound by the Knights. Allen launches for three shot. No good. Rebound control by Hunter. Hunter nearly turned over. Isaiah, Isaiah Jones will make his way back into the ball game. Give Clifton Good an opportunity to catch his breath. Builders hold a 15-point lead. Here's Smith for three. Kyrie Smith from long range converts on a three. And the builder lead is up to 18 now. Here's McClinton. His long three off the mark. Rebound taken by Ortiz. Hunter with the push. Kyrie Smith with the dunk. And you can tell as soon as he got the basketball, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. And with that loud two points, the builder lead now is up to 20. Bitters come back and commit the foul on the other end. That's going to be called, called on Isaiah Jones. That's going to be a second. But man, oh man, Kyrie Smith got up and got the basketball down into the hoop faster than I've seen anyone do it in a while as Anthony McClinton hits the first of two. Darius Wallace is back onto the floor, but man, that was a fast dunk. Wow. We're going to get a stoppage and play. Okay, we're going to get a media timeout, the four-minute mark media timeout. So no more media timeouts between now and the half. Builders now with a 19-point lead as when we come back to play. The second of two free throws. And to look at some of the stats from the uh, early going, Builders with six points by Kyrie Smith. He leads all scorers on the floor or in the ball game, rather. Builders have only, have only turned the ball over three times, while Central Penn has turned it over seven. Both teams with a block. Builders with five steals uh, on the afternoon. So, of course, that contributes to the seven turnovers that the Knights currently have. As I get some, I'll take it back. You know what? I get some new uh, adjusted totals. Central Penn actually has 11 turnovers in the basketball game. Avery Smith with 11 points in the basketball game. Ortiz with five rebounds in the basketball game so far. Builder shooting 44% from the field. The visiting night shooting about 39% from the field. So here's Anthony McClinton. He already hit the first of two. Missed free throw comes off to Saunders. Again, Saunders is the leading rebounder for the Builders on the season per average. He's averaging about eight rebounds a game. Hunter may have double dribbled with the basketball, and he did. So that'll be a turnover for the Builders. That is their third. So the Builders doing a much better job of valuing the basketball than their opponent at this point. Again, Knights with 11 turnovers. Allen 
close to getting this pocket picked by Means. Loose ball, poked around. Saunders comes away with a nice entry pass off of the fast break from Smith to Ortiz, and Ortiz gets the basket at the foul. So Kadir Allen will pick up his second personal foul. That'll be the team's ninth. So Kate Campbell will get his way, make his way back in the ball game, and Angel Pacheco Ortiz will get an opportunity, as always, to try and complete the three-point play old-fashioned way. And he does just that, and the builder lead. It's now up to 21. This is the largest lead on the afternoon for the Builders as Adrian Wall makes his way into the contest. Three minutes. Knights with the basketball in the corner. Loose ball. Everyone diving on the floor. McClinton gets it out to Ross. Shot clock now at four. Three-point shot off the back of the iron. Rebound fought for. Controlled by Hawkins. I'm sorry, Hunter. But there's a foul. So that foul will be on Anthony McClinton. That'll be his for the team's 10th. So with that one, that puts the builders into the bonus. So Xavier Hunter will shoot the one and one. Builders right now with their largest lead of the contest, 21. So back of the night, off the off the free throws. Here's Ross, finds his team down by 23. Saunders with the rebound, build it, push it. Goes out of bounds, but I believe it was last touch by McClinton. So it'll remain Builder basketball. Builders continue to work the perimeter. Entry pass, Saunders. He gets over to Means, but the defense did a nice job of adjusting, but nice job of running the baseline and putting it up. It is Adrian Wall, and the builder lead now is at 25. Pass inside, knocked away by Hunter. Outlet, Wall. Wall on the break. It's going to be fouled. So Connor Jenkins is going to be whistled for the transition foul. So that would Adrian Wall at the line to shoot two. I apologize. I said builders were in the one-on-one. -on -one. They're in the double bonus. And Adrian Wall hits the first two. I know as good as I am, I do make mistakes. As the step two is up and in for Adrian Wall. Builders now with a 27 point lead. So again, Builders are undefeated at home. Well on our way to maintaining that distinction. Shot clock now at 10. Step back, jumper, nice. So Caden Campbell, with that, as we get a timeout, I believe that's going to be the Builders, a 30-second timeout at the 107 mark of the first half. Builders with an impressive 25-point lead, 50-25 over the Knights, have doubled the Knights on the scoreboard. Not a lot of lead changes, really only two. Builders got out ahead. The Knights were able to come back, take the lead by two, but then the Builders seize the lead back and have not looked back since.
So they've had an impressive first half scoring ball. So of course at this at this pace of scoring for the builders, if they're able to do this in the second half, gonna hang a hundred. As Means has the basketball. Means. Alley oop off the baseline that Kyrie Smith, the layup off the glass is good. And the builder lead is back up to 27. We're now under one minute left in the first half. Here's Ross. Ross, strip. And he's going to commit the foul. So Rodney Ross not only lost the ball to Donovan Means, fouled Donovan Means, uh, probably somewhere about 92 feet away from the basket. So we'll walk all the way to the other end, and Donovan Means will tow the throw line to shoot two with 42.5 seconds left in the first half. Builders with a sizable 28-point lead now. As the Lewis will make his way into the basketball game, and one of the things Coach Martin did say is that he goes deep into his bench. He plays a lot of guys. Second of two by Means comes off. Caden Campbell with the rebound. Here's Isaac. Callalang. And we're going to get fouled. I think it may have been off of the screen. So I think that foul may have been on. That's going to be on Zaheem Lewis. So Zaheem Lewis off the screen with the foul. So the Builders get an opportunity to add to their lead of eight of 28 going to the half shot clock hops off so this will be the last shot of the first half builders have dominated they've been in control the entire game here's means being guarded by Callalane. four he shot up no good comes off good if it go nope i think that may have been Xavier hunters and when the clock went off but no matter, 53-25 is our halftime score. Builders up by 28 points as we go into the halftime locker room of game number two. Game number one on the men's side of the tournament of the Great Ships Classic being hosted by the Apprentice School. Again, again, so happy you could join us. So as both teams make their way into the halftime locker room, folks, we're going to take a break as well. Come back for a action of game number two of the day. Here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center of the Great Ships Classic Builders Lead 53-25. We'll be back.
Welcome back, everybody. We're a couple of minutes away from the start of the second half of action here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center. Game two of the day of the Great Ships Classic being hosted by the Apprentice School. Again, so glad you could join us. And if you are nearby and want to come and spend some time with us here in the arena, you can. Tickets are on sale. And I believe a ticket actually gets you in to see all of the games. So uh, it's actually a great deal if you want to uh, come out and support the, uh, the, the the program in person. But if we look at, at some of the first half stats, starting with uh, Central Penn, their leading scorer on the afternoon is Allen. Allen with five. And remember, we said going into this afternoon's game, he was actually 17 points away from 1,000 in his career. And he is has scored five, so he is now 12 points away from a 1,000 in his career. Of course, we don't want him to get it here on the court, but if he does, we will acknowledge that. Um, right now, he is the leading scorer with five. Leading rebounder on the afternoon is going to be Caden Campbell along with Zaheem Lewis. They both have three. Central Penn is committed 14 turnovers. They're currently shooting about 37% field, 14% from three, and 66% from the free throw line. They are four of six. For the Builders, Kyrie Smith leads all scores on the, for the Builders and in the basketball game with 13. The leading rebounder on the afternoon is Kelby Saunders. He has six rebounds. Builders have pulled down 26 boards in the first half to 18 boards for Central Penn. Builders shooting about 46% from the field, uh, 19 of 41 shooting, 33% from 3, 4 of 12, and they're shooting 11 of 17, 64% from the free throw line. Builders own points in the paint, 28 to 6. Again, there have only been two lead changes in the ball game. Builders have led by as many as 28, which is where the halftime deficit is. Right now for the Knights of Central Penn, we're here again by way of Summerdale, Pennsylvania. Sometimes when a team has all the momentum going into the halftime locker room, the first thing or the worst thing that can happen to them is halftime. So hopefully the builders won't just rest on this lead. They'll continue to be as active and aggressive both offensively and defensively as they were in the first half. But we're in the second half play. Knights come out with the basketball in the second half. Allen. Misses the point blank range layup. It's going to go out of bounds. It will last touch by the builders, so the basketball stays on this end of the floor. Ross being guarded by Means. Means. Steal. Builders on the break. Builders turned it over, and that's going to lead to a fast break opportunity for Allen on the other end, and he scores. So for Allen, that is the seventh point. Builders quickly on the other end. Adrian Wall, long three, no good. So the Knights with an opportunity to dig into this 28-point deficit that the Builders built up in the first half. Here's Allen. His shot no good. Ortiz put the loose ball. And back come the Bills. Nearly turn it over. Wall. All the way to the basket for an easy layup. And the builder lead us back up to where it was at halftime. And I think the Knights just turned it over in the back. Or did they do some communication between Allen and Ross? So the basketball is out of bounds. Builders with an opportunity to push lead to 30 or even more on this trip down the floor. Kick to the corner. Kyrie, Kyrie! Another baseline dunk. And we're gonna get a timeout by Coach Gary Martin. A uh, wide timeout as he's seen his team give up another dunk to Kyrie. So folks, just like that, the Bills lead is now 30. 57, 27, wow. Kyrie, Kyrie Smith looked like he was shot out of a cannon when he took that pass and went straight up the baseline. Little resistance there from the Knights' defense, and he did exactly what he needed to do, and that he threw it down for a hard two points, and the Builders now have their largest lead of the afternoon at 30. Here, game two of the Great Ships Clash at the Apprentice School Athletic Center. 
a bit of an up and down afternoon if you are a Builder fan. As we saw game one, the Builder ladies came out to take on Cheney University. A lot of turnovers in the basketball game ended up resulting in a loss for the ladies. They fell by a score of 51 to 46 to the Wolves of Cheney University. And now here on the other side, the men come out and they've absolutely dominated in this basketball game. They have limited the turnovers. They've only committed four turnovers the entire basketball game. If you're coach Evan Key, he's got to love that because the Knights have turned it over 16 times in the basketball game. So as far as points off turnovers, off the turnovers, the builders have converted those four turnovers. Now, he says points off turnovers are 14 to 5 right now. So here's Ross with the basketball. Over to McClinton. Shot clock at 10. Here's Wallace. Wallace. Makes his move. His shot no good. Rebound gathered by Saunders. Corner, Kyrie. He likes that corner. His free no good, and back comes Wallace for the Knights. Wallace directs traffic. Wallace. Shot partially blocked, but he's going to draw the foul. That foul call is going to go on Kilby Saunders. That is his second personal foul in the team's first and second half. So that will put Caden Campbell. Is that Caden Campbell at the line to shoot to the freshman guard out of the Bronx? He is unable to vert. Builder lead still sits at 30. So the Builders haven't seemed to had a drop in their intensity from the first half on both ends of the floor as the second of two is missed. Allen able to fight and scrape for the loose ball. McClinton, loud, loud, unable to score. So back comes Saunders. Means tried to get it out, but his pass was blocked. Here's Ross and loud. And we're going to get a loose ball foul underneath. That loose ball foul is going to be on Caden Campbell. And I believe for Caden Campbell, that is his third. It is, it is his third personal foul, the team's first. So here's Wall in the front court. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Builders go inside to Ortiz. His shot no good. Loose ball comes off to Loud. Here's Wallace. Baseline. Allen gets his pocket picked by Adrian Wall. Wall pushes it. Wall with numbers. Defense didn't step up and step out and stop the ball, McClinton. So that leads to an easy layup for Adrian Wall. So the builder lead now with 32. After having gone into halftime locker room with a 28-point lead, they've extended. That two is up and good from Ross. Ross in his second basket of the afternoon. He has four. Avon Hawk, step back three, in and out. Ortiz with a dangerous skip pass. Here's Saunders, who muscles, it, uh, muscles his way into the paint, but unable to convert. Wallace from the free throw line. His shot up and good. So builder lead now down to 28. Feed. Inside, off of the runner. Reverse layup, no good for Kyrie Smith. 
And that leads to a fast break, three from the Knights, and we're going to time out. I think this is a media timeout. Correction, that's a timeout being taken by the Builders, third second timeout. Oh, correction, that's a media timeout. So I'll tell you what, we will step aside for just a moment. Builders 59, Knights 34. Fifteen eleven remaining in the second half of this afternoon's game two of the Great Ships Classic men's basketball tournament here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center, 59-34. Builders with a commanding lead over the Knights of Central Penn College, again out of Somerdale, Pennsylvania, a private college with about 1,400 students. Jones steps through his layup off the glass is good. So the builders again have not seen a dip in their intensity from the first to the second half, even though they've maintained a sizable lead here in the contest. Builders again going to the basket. Still picking up fouls as that foul call is going to be on Rodney Ross. That will be his third personal foul. So that will send Montreal Jackson to the free throw line. He'll be shooting two. With the Builders up right now by 27, 61 to 34. Builders have led by as many as 32 in the contest. Knights have led by as many as two this afternoon. Again, only two lead changes, and that's been it. Builders took the lead, and they have not looked back. They have not been challenged. They've not been phased. They haven't played an ugly ball game at all this afternoon, having only committed five total turnovers basketball game. And they lead right now by 29. Here's Ross. Ross, wow. You got to give him that one. Nice job on the offensive end by Ross to bank it up the glass for two. Ross only has points in the out on the on the afternoon. As that one goes inside to Montreal. His shot, an air ball. Here's McClinton. McClinton, bit out of control there. Throws it out of bounds. So that'll be a turnover. The turnover now number 18 for visiting Knights. Who again, who again, Coach Gary Martin has his team coming in on a five-game losing streak right now. They're one and nine on the season as that three-point shot by Montreal Jackson is off. Wallace being guarded closely by Epps. Good job by Epps of just moving his feet on defense. And that was really nice because, you know, a lot of times in basketball, you think that a lot of your defense comes from what you do with your hands. But believe it or not, on defense, with the when it comes to basketball, as Isaiah Jones, are you kidding me? He never shoots threes. But he's that one, and it pushes the building back up to 30. To kind of finish the point about defense, what you mostly do on defense has to do with your feet. So if you get yourself in position footwise, footwork wise, you can probably poke a basketball away as Avon Hawkins is able to get his feet set behind the three-point arc 
and drain another three. And the builder lead now is the biggest of the afternoon, 33 over the Knights of Central Penn College. Here's Allen. His shot off the glass, no good. So here's a player that averages about 17 points a game who's been pretty much kept in check as another three-point corner three by Avon Hawkins finds the bottom of the basket and the builders have just poured it, are just starting to pour it on now. Here's Hawkins. Is he feeling it? <laughs> Boy, if he had made that one, the gym was going to explode as Allen able to get the transit basket. So 72-38 is where we sit. Here's John, here's Montreal. Montreal Jackson gets in the party. He hit three. Allen has it slapped away underneath, and the builders are just really pouring it on as we get a timeout. Media timeout. 75-38. The builders with a sizably darn near insurmountable at this point with the way both teams are playing right now. And all of a sudden, the builders are just having fun. They're just hoisting them up for three. As we saw, Avon Hawkins hit two in a row. Thought he was going to drain that third one in a row. Wasn't able to do so, but Montreal Jackson was able to hit a three of his own. And the builders are just really, really pulling, pulling away. Now, prior to the half, they put up 50-plus. As a matter of fact, put up 53 in the first half. So you got to believe that they're looking to try to put that 100 up on the scoreboard and it's actually a realistic possibility that they could score 100 in this contest this afternoon. Right now, nobody in any real foul trouble for the builders. Central Penn has a couple of guys that have three, Rodney Ross and Caden Campbell. But again, Coach Gary Martin goes so deep in his bench that it really won't help hurt them if they foul out. Media timeout is over. Both teams are making their way back onto the court. Bound comes to Riley Young, who launches it. Long rebound comes off to Clifton Good. Builders need to work the perimeter. Corner, three. No good. Here's good. Montreal Jackson pulls it back out. Reverses it. Here's Epps working. Epps dish inside the Clifton. Good. His layup, no good. Back come the Knights. Turnover night. Here's Epps. Epps. Jackson. Jackson. Lay up off the glass. And good. So 77 38. Builders with a 39 point lead. Here, turnover. So that's going to stay on this end for the Knights. Is Clifton Good just unable to corral that loose ball? Scoop layup, no good. Even Hawkins comes out of there with the loose ball. Dish to the corner. Montreal Jackson has been good to the builders, but not this time. So Montreal Jackson still trying to get that three out of that corner. That's the second mid out of that corner for Montreal. As we're going to get a foul call. So Courage Arrell is going to be whistled for that one. That'll be a second personal foul, the team's second. Two seconds on the shot clock. Knights. 
getting the basketball to the basket, unable to convert, and that starts fast break for the builders is Hawkins. Hawkins thought about pulling up for the three, but instead he hits the runner. So the builder lead now was at 41 points. As McClinton gives it off to Smith. Jenkins with 12. Skip pass in the corner. That three hit the side of the backboard for Conti. Here's Harrell. Montreal Jackson goes to the other corner. Still unable to hit that three consecutive misses now for Montreal Jackson. That pull-up jumper is good for Connor Jenkins. And the builder lead now is down to 39. More time for Jackson in the corner. Fourth time would not be the charm. So McClinton decides to take things into his own hands, and he's unable to convert, so here's Epps. Builder's just kind of out there playing just bad basketball at this point. It's Courage Harrell banks it in for another two, and the Builder lead is back up to 41. So right now, Coach just letting them play, man. Shot clock at 15. That's an air ball. So we're going to get a timeout, media timeout on the floor, the eight-minute media timeout. Builders with, let's face it, at this point, is insurmountable. Builders with a 41-point lead. Builders into the halftime locker room with a 28-point lead and just come out here in the second half and just started out going bonkers, scoring the basketball. Haven't really created many more turnovers than they already created in the basketball game. The visitors have turned the ball over 18 times, but builders have just been able to just really exploit the opponent, especially on the fast break. Field goal percentage right now for the builders, 45% compared to 33% for the Knights. Builders had eight three-pointers in the basketball game, eight of 26 right now for 32%, which is right around their, their average. What well, You know what? It's right at their average on the season of 32%. Builders adding 79 points a game. They're at 81 already. We still have seven and a half minutes left. So more than likely, they will hold the Knights out of their per-game average of 77 points per game. So unless they can score 37 points in the next uh, seven and a half minutes, good luck. So here's Epps. Tony Epps Jr. with the basketball. Xavier Hunter. His step back three, no good. Nice with the basketball. Zaheem Lewis, long three, count that one. So Connor Jenkins with the long three, and that cuts the build lead now to 38. Here's Epps. Dish in the corner. Three-point shot, no good by Riddick. Knights with the basketball. And Clemente Riddick is going to draw, I believe, his first foul of the contest. And he will. So that'll be his first and the team's third. That entry pass to uh, Riley Young, his shot no good. Epps. Here's Riddick. Nice give and go by Riddick and good. So Riddick with the lay in. 83 43, builder lead back up to 40. Nope. Actually, it is now down to 37. 
Step back three is good by Zaheem Lewis. Those are Zaheem's first points of the contest. Corner three, no good. But Courage Harrell just rose up and went and got that rebound and scored the putback. That three is also good. From the other side of the court, Connor Jenkins. So that's his second three-point basket in a row. So the builder lead now is 36. Hunter, the runner, off. Young with the basketball. Here's Jenkins, who's already hit two threes, and he's going to be fouled on another one. So the builders are up by 36 points. No need to really foul here. Really want to keep that clock rolling and get out of here with this win, but instead Xavier Hunter is going to be credited with the foul. So that'll put Connor Jenkins at the line. He'll shoot three. We're just under five minutes remaining in the contest as Jenkins able to hit the first. I mean, I'm sorry, missed the first. And the second of two goes down as Aiden Conti makes his way into the contest. Jenkins converts two of three from the charity stripe. So the builder lead now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now at 34, feed inside. Riddick thought about it, but brought it back out. Where Courage Harrell hits the corner three. Knights into the lane. That's going to be a foul call. Courage Harrell, who just hit that three, is going to pick up the foul. So uh, was not fouled in the act of shooting, I don't think. So no free throws upcoming. Turnover. Here come the builders. Tony Epps Jr. with the right-handed layup. That long three-point basket is up and good for Zaheem Lewis and 90 to 54. As the builders continue to pour it on. Xavier Hunter from the corner, builders now seven points away. From 100 is that long three, misses absolutely everything for Aiden Conti. So that is going to lead to a timeout, immediate timeout. 3.20 left in the basketball game. That will be the last media timeout before we call it a day here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center. But it has been an entertaining game so far. If you like points, which, you know, we, we kind of sort of do, builders with a commanding lead again, they pretty much control this basketball game from the beginning. Only two lead changes. We saw the Builders come out score with the, uh, to start the scoring in the game. Then we saw the Knights come back and take a lead by two. Builders seize the lead and just never let go of it after that and have been in control the entire evening. So Builders are going to improve their record. Pretty sure things are going to stay the way they are. And they'll improve their overall record to seven and three on the afternoon. Kind of a tough afternoon for Coach Gary Martin and his and his squad. They come in one and nine. They haven't played horribly. They just um, I'm not really sure what 
it is. I mean, they've committed 20 turnovers, so they, they definitely haven't valued the basketball this afternoon. They play a lot of guys. And we did hear that from Coach Gary Martin, and sometimes I wonder if that really messes with them being able to get into a rhythm offensively when you substitute that many guys uh, in on the afternoon, especially if you're substituting for something other than just guys been fouled trouble. Turnover. Here's Courage. Courage. Gets all the way down court for an easy transition bucket. And the Builders now 95-54. So we got 241 left. Can the Builders score five more points in the next two and a half minutes? As that loose ball is tracked down in the corner by Loud. Here's Jenkins, wild shot. Riddick ahead to Harrell. Builders looking to score. That three is up and good for Clemente Riddick and the Builders. One bucket away from 100, and you know they want it. 98-54, Builders. Here's Calalone. Three-point basket, no good. Here's Clemente Riddick with the rebound. Up to Epps. Epps into Riddick, who pulls it out to Harrell. His spinning layup, no good. The bench is off their feet. They want that 100. As we're going to get a foul on Xavier Hunter. So for Xavier, that is his second personal foul. The team six is Isaiah Jones off the bench for the Builders, along with along with uh, I think it's a Smith. It's a he Smith for the Knights. Here's Smith being guarded by Epps. His three, air ball. So a minute and a half left. Builder sitting at 98. And trust me, when they get when they get to half court with this basketball, the bench is going to be ready. They want a hundred this afternoon. They have an opportunity to get it here. Here's Epps. Epps off the dribble. And there it is, folks, 100 on the afternoon. As that long three-point shot comes off and the builders may have an opportunity to add to it. We're now down to a minute. Isaiah Jones unable to handle the entry. And that leads to a conversion offensively on the other end by the Knights. Build a lead at 44. Here's Courage. And Courage hits the long three. 103. Now the Builders have put up on the scoreboard. We're now down to a little over 30 seconds left in this contest. And this will do it. I'm sure Coach will tell them to just hold it. They don't. Jones finishes it off with a dunk. Knight still continue to be aggressive here offensively. Is loud, unable to convert, and that'll get us to the end of the game as we're now under 10 seconds remaining in the contest. And the Builders will pick up their seventh win of the of the season and they will remain undefeated here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center as they take down the Knights by a score of 100 to 56 a 40 no I take that back that is actually a 49 point victory here in the first round of the Great Ships Classic tournament here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center. As far as your team totals, Builder shot about 46% on the afternoon. Uh, Kyrie Smith is going to get out of here with as your leading scorer. Um, there's not a whole lot to say. You saw it yourself, Builders, at win this game in an absolute dominant fashion. So, folks, there is more basketball to come. We will be back here tomorrow 
uh, beginning, I believe, at noon for two more contests. Builders will look to get back to their winning ways on tomorrow, and we will bring you those contests here at the Apprentice School Athletic Center. So we're going to say good evening. There will be other action uh, this afternoon in the tournament, but we are going to... Okay, so the Builders will be back with you tomorrow at 4 to bring you the first uh, Builder game and at 6 to bring you the second Builder game. So, folks, we're going to say good night. Again, final score, 105-56. Builders pick up their seventh win of the, of the season. So, for Dave Davenport, I am Howard McCain. Thank you so much, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. And until then, remember, this is Builder Basketball.